To change our plugin location, we're going to need to change one of the values in our plugin. And that value is going to be this A plugin location. Currently, if you look at it, it says that we have it assigned to the plugin location menu, which isn't what we want. We want it on a toolbar. So let's go back to our API. And we're just going to navigate to SD plugins. And you'll see here, here's the uh, plugin description. And we have a label, tooltip, and the plugin location. Now, for the plugin location, it's asking for a plugin location variable. So we can click that. And here we have some options. So here is the plugin location menu. But what we actually want is the plugin location toolbar. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and switch it. What we're going to do here is SD plugins dot plugin location toolbar. And then that method is asking for two different values. So the first one it asks for is the toolbar ID and then the priority. The priority should be simple, which we just set it. Basically, uh, it orders the plugins depending on which one is first. So we'll just go ahead and put it as the very first one. We'll put it at zero. And then for the toolbar ID, it's going to be one of these values here at the bottom. So what we'll do is we'll type in SD plugins dot and let's call one of these values. So it's going to be this SBS comp graph, right? Main is going to be the top bar. MDL graph is going to be if you have an MDL graph. But what we want is this comp graph. So I'm going to type in SBS comp graph. And that's it. So now instead of showing up in the menu, that plugin should show up. Oh, I'm sorry, not SBS comp graph. We need to do toolbar ID dot SBS comp graph. Uh, and let's make sure we get the capitalization right. So now instead of showing up in the main menu, it should show up in the comp graph. Well, let's save it. Let's hop back over to Substance Designer. It's going to ask us if we want to update. We'll say yes. We'll hit play. And we've got a syntax error. And the syntax error is we need a comma at the end of this. So let's hop back over to Visual Studio Code. It's funny, uh, just as a side note, I actually re-recorded this and I made the same mistake twice. So, <laughs> all right, and let's hit play. All right, there we go. And so now we'll see there's the nudge node. We can select a certain amount of, I'm just going to clear the log, a certain amount of nodes, hit play or hit execute. And there are the values of the nodes. Just to make sure we're actually getting solid data, because right now this makes no sense to us. Let's actually execute a um, uh, a method. Let's go back to our um, uh, API, and let's just get the SD node. Uh, I just know off the top of my head that's what that's what the the class is. And let's just get something like get position, right? So what we're going to do is node dot get position. We'll hit play. And then we'll select some. And there we go. We get the position values for all of them. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you in the next lesson.